goal is just forgiveness. The goal is the happy dream. As the Course teaches us, you know, we're not to try to set any kind of goal. Don't set, don't set God as your goal. Set forgiveness as your goal. Set the happy dream as your goal. And, and then people will say sometimes like, well, if, it's, if everything gets so happy, then why would you even be here? And it's like, again, you know, if everything you make is a decision with the Holy Spirit, <coughs> which we could say is, Holy Spirit, decide for God, for me. When you link your mind with the Holy Spirit, then everything involving the script is given, including the disappearance of the universe. So, in other words, you don't even have to worry about anything. You don't even have to worry about your Truman Show scene. Good afternoon, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Isn't it great to know that the Holy Spirit's got that tucked, tucked in there as well? And it's all like autopilot. Like all you have to do is allow your mind to yield in to that place of non-judgment. Watch your happy dream. That can't be that difficult, no. uh, watching a happy dream. And then the Holy Spirit, in conjunction with your mind, makes the final decision, you know, the final vow. And, the, and as it says, the body is, can be gently laid aside. This is how it can be. Well, that is really good. That sounds really good. A happy dream, and then the body is gently laid aside. However, I also should remind you that, that when you lay the body aside, you lay the whole cosmos aside. There's somehow this belief that somehow the body gets laid aside, and then Jesus went off somewhere, <laughs> and then this world kept happening. Yeah. But it didn't. <laughs> it's a hallucination. It's not really here. It never was anywhere. And when you ascend, when you lay aside the body, it's not like you lay it aside and your soul goes flying off to another adventure. You, you can lay aside the whole cosmos at once. Of course you have to. You can't, you know, reincarnation is kind of a belief, just another construct. That somehow you have a soul that seems to come into a body and then seems to go out and go somewhere, but there is nowhere uh, to go because time and space and place and location are all just constructs too. So, it's really great. You don't you have to worry about leaving a legacy. Isn't this great? I mean, that's another great relief. Spend uh, it all now. <laughs> <laughs> There's Margaret's philosophy. She's got it. <laughs> Spend it all now. Use it up. <laughs> don't leave anything in the gas tank or the propane tank for later. Uh, there's no need. I mean, you know, and how different that is from all of our old strategies of preparing you know, for years, at the beginning I was doing this, I said, what, how is this going to affect, you know, a concept like a retirement account? You know, you, the Holy Spirit is your uh, retirement account, <laughs> when you really think about it, you know, <laughs> in charge of everything. All your fringe benefits, uh, <laughs> and they don't ever run out until you really have run the course of the ego. You run out of ego, and your fringe benefits in this world run out too, because the world was never apart from you, so, poof, you know, all in an instant. 